I know we're only in January, but I think I may have just found my favourite paddle of 2024. Don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horn. Ow! I think we just hit the jackpot, kid. absolutely love everything about the journey, the customer unboxing experience, the graphics, the stories, the website's brilliant. It shipped with a hot sauce for the first 1000 customers. Just taking marketing to a new level adds value for the customer. And I think a lot of other brands should take note because I think it's important. And if you're spending upwards of 150, Sometimes 250, 270 we're at now, and it comes in a plastic bag. Something doesn't add up there. You know, we've got to start thinking about things a bit, see if it really adds up. You know what I mean? Getting a $270 paddle isn't going to make you a better a better player, but betting, getting a $165 paddle that makes you smile and you have a laugh and you enjoy the customer unboxing experience, that's going to be more enjoyable than getting it in a plastic bag. Here's some stats about it. It has a weight of 7.7 .7 to 7.9 ounces. Mine was around the 7.7 .7 mark. A width of 7.5 inches. A length of 16.3 inches. It's a thermoformed unibody constructed paddle with the raw carbon fibre face and a 16 millimeter polypropylene core with foam injected sides. It also has this lovely hexagonal handle. It's 5.3 inches long with a circumference of 4.25 inches and it has a handle wrap for vibration dampening which I really like the feel of that handle. I think that's going to be for me the best set of stats for a handle and I think that they produced the Loco as they saw a lot of demand for the new hybrid shape, especially the six zero double back diamond making waves in 2023. Now I've played with that. I've done a video on it. So I had a lot of expectations when it came to the Loco and had something to compare it to. So it was good to get on court and see how this performed in comparison. So now let's talk performance. I've been playing with the six zero double black diamond. Um, so I kind of had something in my mind of what I would expect the Loco, as it's a similar shape, similar stats, to play like. Let's start with spin. For me, the Loco just edges it. I was able to spin and curve the ball a lot more than what I was doing with the 6-0 double black diamond. In fact, I had a whipped low forehand that I didn't get on video. I wish I did because no one would believe me. But this thing took off like a rocket bent like a boomerang it was unplayable and so much fun to hit when it comes to par primarily my serve i quite try and hit it quite powerfully on my serve the double black diamond edges it but i felt the loco was more faster and agile at the net and in terms of control and soft play they're both incredible um incredible finesse and touch at the net when either reaching or resets just felt like it went where i wanted it to go in the same way that the double black diamond did too the biggest tick in the logo box has to be the box itself and the customer unboxing experience the marketing what you get added value for 165 dollars here's what you get so you get the box you get the paddle of course but you also get well i got my bag a racer 
grips, koozie. Your box may vary. Um, and little three gram weights that you can apply to either side because I like my paddles to be around eight ounces. So I added one there and one there, as you can see. So in summary, with everything being considered, I can't see another paddle coming to market that's going to match Bread and Butter's unboxing experience, level of materials used, construction methods, performance, all those things combined. That's why I made that statement at the start. And that's why I think the Loco will be my favorite hybrid curve shaped paddle in 2024. Well done, Bread and Butter. Awesome paddle. Love playing with it.